in the world. I'm practicing my forward rolls. Whee! <gasps> <laughs> Hello. That was so brilliant, Small. Will you teach me? Yes, but you have to take it seriously. I will. <sighs> OK. First, you need to stand up straight, as straight as a beanstalk. A beanstalk? Stop fidgeting. Now, hold your arms up. Oh, stop waving. Now, here's for the big finish. Lean down, tuck your head in, and roll forward in a ball. Like a hedgehog. Yes, a bit like a hedgehog, rolling forward in a ball. <laughs> Your turn. OK, here goes. Beanstalk, wave, and hedgehog. Oh! And hedgehog. E <laughs> Sorry, Small. Forward rolls are tricky. I can do the beanstalk and the waving. It's just the hedgehog rolling I'm not sure about. Can I leave that bit out? But the roll's the best bit. I'm scared. The floor's a bit hard and I don't have a bouncy sponge to land on like you. Mashed potatoes. I didn't think of that. I'm sure we can sort it. But first, we've got a customer to feed. Woohoo, a customer. I'm off with a whiz to see who it is. Woo! Is it today, Small? Give us a clue. See if you can guess too. Ooh, it's someone who can do handstands and cartwheels and is fabulous at forward rolls. They must be bendier than a banana. Do you know who it could be? Is it a gymnast? Yes, it's our friend Georgina the gymnast. She does marvellous moves with her twirling ribbons. She's amazing. But what can we cook for a gymnast? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. Georgina the gymnast was amazing at gymnastics. She could balance beautifully on the beam and cartwheel across the floor. But her favourite thing was ribbon dancing. She would dance about, twirling a long satin ribbon. It looked magical. One day, Georgina was very excited because she was going to perform her ribbon dance in a special show. She waited for her name to be announced. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome a very talented performer, Georgina the Gymnast! But just as she was ready to perform, she dropped her ribbon stick and snap! It broke in half! Oh no! What shall I do? She wondered. She bravely decided to dance with the broken ribbon stick, but the ribbon was too tricky to control. It wiggled about, and then wrapped itself around her like a snake. The crowd gasped. <gasps> Georgina was in a terrible tangle. Luckily, I was close by. I had to help Georgina, so I thought hard and had one of my brilliant ideas. Here, take this. You can use it as a ribbon stick, I whispered. And I handed Georgina my spoon. Soon, Georgina was twirling and swirling her lovely satin ribbon once more. It looked like she was dancing in a waterfall. The crowd cheered! Hooray! Georgina's show was a huge success! Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Thank goodness for your spoon, Small. Georgina couldn't have twirled her ribbon without it. But what can we cook for her? Hmm, it has to be something twirly and spectacular. Yes, we need to do some serious thinking. <gasps> mm. I know, big cook. 
cook's big cookery book. Of course, the big cookery book. There are recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's book. Here's the perfect recipe, Jen. Twirly ribbons. It's full of twirliness and has a bow on top. Wow, Georgina's going to love it. Can you read out the ingredients, Small? Of course. For the pasta ribbons, we need plain flour and two eggs. No problem there, Small. We've got those. And for the sauce, we need olive oil, garlic, a tin of tomatoes, oregano, basil leaves, and an onion. Oh, noodles! We don't have an onion! <laughs> don't cry, Jen. Sorry, onions always make me cry. <laughs> don't worry, I'll whiz off and get one. Great idea, and I'll get everything ready. Why don't you come along too? Woo! She'll see today. <laughs> this is where onions grow. They grow in the ground. And when they are ready to eat, we can see most of the onion above the ground. The onions are round, with green leaves growing out of the top. Here comes a tractor to get the onions ready to take out of the ground. This machine cuts all the leaves from the tops of the onions. These onions are ready to take out of the soil. Can you see how round the onion is? This tractor is pulling a machine that lifts the onions out of the soil. Look at all those yummy onions! Up they go! And then the machine drops them to the ground into a neat and tidy pile. Another tractor gathers up all the delicious onions. Up, up, up they go! And then they fall into this big green truck. Time to unload the onions. Here, they remove all the loose soil and leaves. They're kept in big crates to keep them cool and dry, so they stay lovely and fresh for longer. Look at all those crates of onions. These onions are just what we need for the recipe. See you at the cafe. That was quick. I've just finished measuring out the ingredients. Did you get the onion? Here it is, one perfect onion. Brilliant, that's everything we need. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Honey pots and hedgehog rolls, starry breakfast skies. Robot cake can power shake and sunflower surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. She is big cook and she is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready to cook. cook. While you were away, Small, I got everything ready. Nice work. 
Do you remember the ingredients to twirly ribbons? For the pasta ribbons, we need plain flour, 200 grams, eggs, two, and for the sauce, we need chopped tomatoes, one 400 gram tin, oregano, just a pinch, garlic, one clove crushed, fresh basil, a few leaves, olive oil, just a dash, and an onion, finely chopped. That's everything, Jen. Let's get started. All right, Sergeant Small. First, let's make the pasta. Make a well in your flour. Then, pour in the eggs. It looks like an egg volcano. Yes, it does. Bring the flour into the middle of the volcano. This is the messy bit. Your hands need to be really clean when you do this. It looks like an eggy eruption. <laughs> Keep mixing until the flour and eggs start to become a dough. I'm going to knead it with my hands. Folding the dough to make it smooth and silky. You're going to need strong arms for this bit. Very good. Keep kneading for five minutes while I parade about. <whistles> oh, phew! Is it looking smooth now? Yes, it's a smooth lump of dough. I'm going to wrap it in cling film, then pop it in the fridge for chilling. There. There's no time for chilling. We need to make the sauce. Left, right, left, right. Ready, Sergeant Small. I've put the olive oil and the onions into a saucepan on a medium heat. Ask your grown-up helper to do this bit. Because it's hot, hot, hot. Cook the onions until they turn soft. <gasps> the onions are making me cry now. <sighs> Once the onions are cooked, add in the tomatoes, garlic, oregano, and basil, and give it a good mix. Ask your grown-up helper to turn up the heat and let the mixture hubble bubble for 15 minutes. Very good. Now give me a squilly and press-ups while it's bubbling. I can't small. Our dough is chilled. I've got to make the pasta ribbons with it. We're going to be doing a lot of rolling. I'm good at that. Whee! <laughs> Lightly flour a clean work surface and roll the dough out into a long oblong shape. Rolling, rolling. Look, I'm rolling too. Whee! <laughs> Rolling, rolling. Keep rolling until you have a long sheet as thin as you can get it without it tearing. I'm still rolling. Whee! You're going to get worn out small. Ooh, I'm puffed out. Look lively, Sergeant Small. I need your help with the next bit. Here's some dough. Can you cut it into ribbons for me, please? Sure, no problem. Cut the pasta into long ribbons about one centimetre wide. That's about as wide as a finger. Oh, this is hard work. I'm making little piles of ribbons and putting them on the tray to dry out. Well done, Jen. They're just like twirly ribbons. Once they're dry, do we cook them? Yes, and I've boiled a pan of water. Ask your grown-up helper to do this bit as it's hot, hot, hot. Plop the pasta ribbons into the water. Plop, plop, plop. Plop, plop. 
give them a stir so they don't stick together. And cook for two minutes. I've drained away the water and put the pasta ribbons into a bowl. Now I'm spooning on some delicious tomato sauce. To decorate, loop a pasta ribbon into a twirly bow, like so. Yummy! Then add a couple of basil leaves to finish. Our fantastic gymnastic dish is ready. Georgina's tummy must be rumbling and tumbling. <whistles> Time to present our dish. Left, right, left, right. Twirly ribbons for our friend Georgina coming through. There, all done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. <laughs> my name's Jen. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs. The things that help us do our jobs. Ingredients we'll put away. Ready for you for another day. Some pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Georgina, the gymnast, has finished She's gobbled the lot Look, she's left us a note What does it say? What does it say? Let's see, it says Dear Big Cook Jen and Little Cook Small, my twirly ribbons made my tummy tumble with joy. To say thank you, I am giving Big Cook a nice squishy floor mat to help her practice her forward rolls. Happy rolling, love, Georgina the Gymnast. <gasps> Look Jen, you won't have to roll on the hard floor. Well, pickle my parsnips, what are we waiting for? Beanstalk, wave, and hedgehog roll! Yay! Hooray! I did it! I did the perfect hedgehog roll! Well done, Jen! And now it's time to try out a new move, the sausage roll! <gasps> yum, yum, yum! See, See you soon. soon! Bye! Can I have a bite? Okay, but just a small one. 